Hey everybody, so um, I have in front of me here uh, three uh, different baking scales, digital baking scales. Uh, my wife and I have recently started baking our own bread and baking is a true science. And when you get into baking, you want to be more accurate by using a measure of weight as opposed to a measure of volume. Uh, so instead of cups and half cups and teaspoons and stuff, you are using uh, grams ounces, milliliters, and fluid ounces, things like that. So that being said, um, I have three scales in front of me here. I have the uh, Nicewell uh, digital scale at seven inches by nine inches. I have the E-Tech City, which is five inches by seven inches. And I have the Amazon Basics, which is uh, basically six and a half inches in diameter. Um, differences between these, obviously beyond the size. Um, the uh, Nicewell, I really like the readout surface here. Uh, it's easy to read. It's easy to understand. It's very bright. Um, you know, you've got a blue background with white letters and white numbers. The units are easy to read. It goes from grams to kilograms to pounds and ounces to fluid ounces to milliliters and then back to grams. Uh, big surface to work with. Um, the E-Tech City, slightly smaller. Still, it's uh, very easy to read. It has uh, very bright white letters against a dark background. Um, so the units on this particular one here, so starting at grams, single touch takes you to milliliters. And this is where you need to pay attention because there's two labels down here. You have water and milk. So the first milliliter is for water. The second one is for milk because water and milk have two different weights to them. Water is heavier than milk. Milk has more floating particulates in it than water does. Um, and then the next one goes to uh, ounces. The next one goes to pounds and ounces. And the next one goes to fluid ounces. And again, you have to pay attention here. You've got water and milk for the fluid ounces. And then from there, it goes back to grams. For the Amazon Basics, uh, again, real simple. You just push push the units button here. Uh, goes to pounds and ounces, milliliters, fluid ounces, and grams again. So um, this one here is unique in that uh, the measuring device is inside the base of the body itself. Uh, I don't know how many there are, but um, if there's something underneath the scale itself, it shouldn't affect anything at all as far as how well it measures. The E-Tech City and the Nicewell, um, these two here have four pressure points. And these pressure points um, basically are what measures the weight difference to tell you how much of what you're putting into either a ramekin or a bowl or what have you. The nice thing about all three of these is that they're really easy to zero out. If I take a ramekin and I put it up on top of any one of these and uh, I look at the measurement or the weight, and um, I can see that the weight is its different for each one of them because they just have different pigments, uh, different thicknesses. This one's thicker than this one, so on and so forth. But if you want to zero them out, it's really easy to just hit the tear button, uh, which zeroes it out, or uh, the ZT, zero out or tear button, and again here, the tear button here. Zeroes it out. Now when you put something inside of the, the ramekins or inside of a bowl, you know exactly how much you're putting in. I would uh, happily use any one of these three baking scales, digital baking scales, uh, in my kitchen. Um, and uh, I find each of them easy to use. The only thing that I would say is that the Amazon Basics one, I would like to see a little bit easier of a readout. Beyond that, they're all three really good uh, scales. Have yourselves a fantastic day, everybody. We'll catch you on the next video. Cheers, everybody.